Hello everybody, my name is Lauren Wilson and welcome to my channel, Lauren Wilson Illustrations. In this video, you'll be watching me paint a portrait and while that's happening, I am also going to be talking about my painting process and how I deal with writer's block when it comes to thinking of what I should paint next. So to start off, I feel it is important to know a little bit more about writer's block in general. I am by no means an expert on this subject, but I have had my fair share of writer's block and in the process, I have looked to many different artists and creators to see what they have to say on this subject as well. So what I have found is that people who have decided to make an income or pursue some type of recognition in creative fields beyond just a hobby, these people have an added pressure to produce whatever product it is that they are making. And making an income or just a steady flow of money in general on its own can be very difficult. So therefore these people who want to make an income off of their art, this pressure is usually increased. So this stress and pressure really puts a strain on people's ability to think creatively because creativity requires a lot of space for your brain to relax and have time to flesh out whatever ideas you may have. So pretty much this pressure to make an income becomes a very big weight on people in creative fields. Furthermore, creativity really isn't this nice steady flow of ideas once you get started creating things. There are going to be times where you just don't have ideas for what you want to do next. But with all of these outside pressures, these lull times when you don't have ideas can seem very detrimental, making it further difficult to think creatively. Now, this all seems very stress-inducing and worrisome, which it is, and is one of the big reasons why people don't pursue creative fields. But there are ways to handle this stress, and I want to share what I have found that works for me, and hopefully it will help you out as well. So during this time, which I call my between paintings time, where I don't have an idea of what I want my next piece to be, I will take this time to practice. Now that really doesn't sound like that monumental of a solution, and it isn't, but the mindset and different ideas you get out of it really makes a difference. So I'm gonna give an example to help explain this a little bit more. So let's say I am practicing portraits, which I love doing because I love portraits, but let's say I'm practicing portraits. I will then look up a whole bunch of different portraits to find one that I want to paint. And a lot of the times while doing this, I will come across different images that inspire new ideas for future paintings. So I then don't have to worry anymore about what my next painting will be. I could also be working on a portrait from an image I found, and while painting it, I could find different things about it that I like, such as the lighting, the figure position, the colors of the image, and other things like that and come up with ideas to make my work similar to these elements that I find interesting. Even better about this is that I already have a great reference to go by which really helps to shorten the amount of time it will take to create my next painting. Also the painting I did for this video is a self-portrait I did for practice which I added a few different elements to in order to be a little bit more interesting so that I was able to use it for future content. There are also two other things that will happen during this process besides just getting new ideas out of it. One is that since you are filling this lull time with practicing, you will get the feeling that you are continuously working, thereby relieving a lot of the stress from feeling like you aren't doing anything. The second thing is that you are getting in much needed practice hours. And if you have ever looked online to find out what other artists say will improve your artwork the most, more than likely these other artists will say to practice and to practice the fundamentals. Being honest, this is a real boring part of art and a lot of people don't want to put the time into it. One, because it's simply not fun, but also because you might not know where to fit it in at. But by allotting it to this between paintings time really helps to find a balance between devoting time to your own pieces that you can sell and or use for content and time for practicing fundamentals. So pretty much while practicing can be something seen as really boring when you are really stuck and you just have no idea what you should be painting, it can really help to save you a lot of stress and make you better able to bring forward your own creative ideas. Also, you'll be practicing to make your work look better overall, and that really does help to make your paintings look more awesome. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching me paint the self-portrait. I am really happy with how it turned out. 
I was trying out some new things with the clothing. I wanted more of a painterly feel to it, but I still wanted the face to be a little bit more realistic and trying to blend in those two together to be one cohesive piece. I feel like I'm still working on it, but it turned out pretty decent, so I am pretty happy with it. Also, thank you for watching my video. I hope you all found it helpful. If you yourself are not a creator but know somebody who is and who might find this helpful, go ahead and share it with them. Also, if you have any tips and tricks for writer's block, I would love to hear them down in the comments below and we can have some awesome discussions about that. Thank you again for watching my video. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time.